Welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at the historic Auburn High School. Please forgive me, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to contain my excitement. I mean, it's the night. It's Auburn. I mean, new principal, Devon LaRosa, doing a wonderful job here at Auburn. We're hearing great things, and I'm excited to see him and see some things he has to show us. But as I'm walking up on the building here, oh my goodness, look at this. This is something spectacular. I've never seen this. Have we had this before, Vince? Have we had the I, cheerleaders? Look at this man at attention at the door. R-O-T-C. You know, being a, a military man myself, wow, check this out. Whoa. Wow, he is at attention. G good morning. Good morning, how y'all doing today? Hello, hello, look at this. Ah, yes. At attention, squared away. Look at this, our Auburn High School. Aub we, Auburn High School. Chilis, good morning, how you guys doing? How you guys doing? What's going on? Hi, what's your name? Nyquasia. Nyquasia, how you doing this morning? Fine, how are you? I'm doing well. So, what is this all about? What, what, are, you guys, what are you guys doing? Yeah, you, got, we got something, you got something to do? Do us something. Give us something. Give us something. Go ahead. Let's check it out. A H S A H S. If you're yelling for the night, yell A H S A H S. If you're clapping on the wind, yell A H S A H S. If you're Just like it, they do big, they do it big here. They're doing big things here at Auburn. Wonderful job. Thank you very much. That was awesome. Vince, make sure you got these. You know, you know, being a former military man myself, you know, I'm, this is impressive. Look at that. Still at attention. Wonderful. Thank you all very, very much. Thank you. That was wonderful. Have a great day. Study hard. Go Knights. <laughs> all right. We are here with the principal. How are you? Devon LaRosa. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. Thank you for having us today, man. This is, I mean, I'm, I, this is impressive. Got a good good group here. Uh, that, that says a lot about, you know, the, the way you're doing things here. Um, what, what's, what's that, what, what's your, is there a philosophy? What do you, what do you, what's, what's something that, one of the things Devon LaRosa uh, lives by in terms of leadership? So I just believe in supporting my students and supporting the staff here at Auburn. Um, I believe in all the students. I believe in the staff. And we just empower, empower to do great things. That's our focus. Awesome. All right, I'm excited to hear. I hope you got some cool things to show us. Tell us a little bit about now. How, how long you? Uh, how long you been? How long have you been a principal? Uh, principal of Auburn for just one quarter, and uh, hoping for many, many more years. Uh, before that, I was the assistant principal at Jefferson High School. Now, where are you originally from? You talk, and you can talk to me. Sure. I was from. Uh, I'm from Rockford, Illinois, mm -hmm. and I uh, went to Whitehead, Eisenhower, Guilford. I uh, did one year of Kappa here at Auburn, and then we switched zones. And I went to Guilford High School, graduated, went to SIU, Rockford College, and got my master's in National Lewis. So check that out. That that makes me happy. Look, two fellow Rockfordians, my man. My man. Hey, one other thing we have in common. What's that? I went to Whitehead as well. Did you? Sixth grade, yep. And we were actually, you know, our first learning about you, we were at Whitehead. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the first one we did. Awesome. So there it goes. We got connections. We got connections. All right, let's go. All right, all right so. I'm introduce you to some people as well. All right, let's go. We're going to introduce you. All right. Is, uh, Dean Fambro. Dean Frambro. Good morning, sir. How are you? Good. How you doing? Good. What, are, what, are, what are you, what's your, what's your role? My role here is uh, Dean of Students. Uh, we mainly work on discipline and are encouraging kids to do well. Absolutely. You know, I got to tell you, you know, you're fresh this morning, man. You know what I'm saying? I feel, you know what I'm saying? I like, you know, I like. I try to make uh, Auburn and the school of principal uh, look well, so we do what we do. <laughs> so so one of the things we do with, with, with this, with learning about you, you know, we, we like to show the community, show staff, show people, parents, what actually goes on inside our schools. You know, a lot of things people say things they, they you know you do you hear things but I want the people who are going to see this to look here it is what time is it what time what time is it in the morning what time what time is it? Hey, for, look at this hallway you see this hallway is clear look 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 this way from the north to the south to the east to the west look at this so miss friend you must be you doing your thing well that means the students are doing their thing yes, they're in class wanting to learn that means the teachers are in class teaching that's what that means. Well, well thank you. You know, um, we appreciate it. Thank you for talking. I know you guys, you know, I knew you're doing your thing. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah. All right. 
Today we're going to head to uh, we're going to do a demonstration with the physics students. Um, I'm going to let Mr. Lundin, our physics teacher, talk about a demonstration where he empowered his kids to uh, take catapults, and there was kind of some some set structures they had to put in place. But we're going to watch them do a demonstration. These kids worked very hard, and they're out here for a full day using these catapults that they designed. Um, and so that's what we'll go to first, and then we have something else planned for you too. Absolutely. So talk a little bit about you know what have, what have you what have you noticed when you've been here on the job? Um, what, what's one of the first things that you thought was important to establish here uh, in terms of your um, basically you have to tell students and you have to believe it that you have to let them know you care and we're gonna support you and our goal is for you to graduate um, and you know we're transitioning to the Academy model and so we want innovative thinkers to come think out the box right we want them to be to do what they do we want teachers to think outside the box and to start developing and creating lessons around the Academy model and do just what you're gonna see here um, with the physics demonstration as well as one you're gonna see with aquaponics and so we're really empowering kids setting expectations not creating rules but setting expectations you'll find um, with the freshmen um, we don't have rules for them we'll say you're, you're veering off the expectation that we set for you. Rules are made to be broken. Expectations are a set thing that we're striving for, we're asking you to do, which is different. So we're to let students know you care about them, let them know we want them to graduate, and want them to be innovators. So we'll take you out here. Oh, man, what, what, that, that was strong. Man, it made me, I want to come, I want to go to Auburn. All right, let's check it out. All right, so here we are. Looks like we have something uh, pretty innovative. <laughs> Mr. Lundin. Mr. Lundin, how you doing? Good morning, sir. How are you? Earl Dotson Jr., and you are? Brian Lundin. Brian Lundin. And when, what, what do you do here at Auburn? I teach physics, uh, AP Physics, Renaissance Physics. Um, yep. So, you know, again, you know, I always like when we do this, I love, I love to meet our cool teachers here. We got really, really <laughs> great teachers here at Auburn. So it looks like we're doing something here uh, this morning. Tell us a little bit about what's, what's happening here. All right. This is our catapult project. And uh, in this project, the students were to build a catapult that would fire and hit a target at different uh, distances. Yeah. Uh, so hey, can you show us a little bit of demonstration? Absolutely. All right. Let's check this out. All right. So, this is physics. This, this, let's see. Good morning. Hey, how you doing? What's your name? Damian Hopper. Damian Hopper. Hello. We got some. How you doing? What's your name? I'm Jacob Higgins. Jacob, and you are? I'm Justin Higgins. Oh. <laughs> you. Pleasure to meet you. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna check this. We're gonna see this demonstration, and uh, we're gonna sit back and watch. Cool. All right. Who's who's gonna do it? Who's gonna do the demonstration? We're doing. Uh, we're, we could both go, but Damian looks a lot cooler. So I think. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's we'll, we'll go. Let Damian go first. Go ahead, Damian. Tell us, tell us a little bit. Do, do we do you need to talk or we just need to watch? Okay, all right. We'll just check it out. That would be scored as a hit. Um, the students start to land the tennis ball inside of the uh, inside of the hula hoop, so that that first shot would have been a hit. Mm -hmm. um, so, so meaning mean, meaning that the first it bounced in the first time, correct? And then went, okay, so that, okay, correct. Interesting, cool. Sure. Let's see it again. Let's see another. I, I kind of like that. Go ahead and uh, make the adjustment. Um, so the students were to have to uh, adjust their catapult to be able to hit three meters, five meters, and seven meters. So um, Damien's going to adjust and hit his five meter mark. Nice. And so tell it what, what what's the what's the lesson here? What do you what's the purpose of this exercise? What are you trying to learn? So this is uh, kind of the culmination of our learning for the first quarter. We we worked on uh, kinematics, looking at how projectiles uh, fire the the range that they would have the maximum height, um, and as well we are looking at the uh, forces uh, applied by uh, different sources. In this case, Damien's uh, force is being applied by the spring inside of this cannon, whereas we have with the the Higgins over here, uh, we have a uh, force being applied by the elastic cord that's holding on to the uh, catapult arm. Awesome. Yeah. All right, let's check them out. Let's see what they're going to do here. You go, I'm sorry, go ahead, say it again. Um, would you like to see three meters or five meters? Uh, let's go five meters. So who built the machines? The students built the machines. I, I gave them. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I gave them no materials. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. So, let, let's talk. Let, I mean, can I ask you a question about this? Tell, tell me a little bit about you. Did you you built this here? Um. Yeah, we built this all ourselves. Um. 
he gave us like like three weeks yep. three weeks to completely build a catapult from scratch he just sent us out with a couple rules and said build a catapult T tell me tell me what are you what 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 year, what year are you what grade are you in? um i'm a junior right You're now junior so so that was great did you did you take this class is this the first time taking the, this class? yes right. yes so tell me what, you, what do you like about this what, what is what's interesting for this well I, with in terms of the class itself like what we do in the class part um the, it's mostly math based like applied mathematics and physics and it's really really interesting it's really fun to be able to like get the right answer and solve the problem awesome. but yeah awesome uh, let, me, let me ask you what, what do you what's uh, what, do you, what do you like about learning and, and or just what do you like what do you like about learning about physics? i think that it's like really interesting to like like really see how the forces work and everything i mean because before it's just like oh the ball is just falling down to the ground, but now that I know, like, you know, everything else is working on, like, gravity and stuff, and we can figure out how far it'll go. So, what, what's your what's your favorite thing? What's your favorite thing to do here at school? What's your favorite class? Um, physics. It's physics. <laughs> All right. Thank you both very much. I'll let you get back to school here. Let's go over and let's talk to this young man. <laughs> Let's talk to this young man. So, what, I, what, tell me again, what what do you like about this doing this type of project? Um, well, I like uh, building things like this all the time with me and my dad. So uh, it's nice to be able to make something and then be able to uh, do the math and stuff and uh, figure out how to make it work the best it can. Absolutely. So, what do, what do you like about school right now? Um, well, physics is my favorite class. This is your favorite class. What else is going on? You um, you doing anything? You do you doing anything um, that uh, anything else did you find inter interesting here? Um, I'm in the school band, and that's ah, yeah. cool. How's that going? Uh, it's, it's good. What instrument do you play? A saxophone. Saxophone, ladies and gentlemen, sax player, my man. Thanks, thanks for your time. Pleasure meeting you. All right, all right. Thank you very much. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> oh, that took you all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Good job. This is awesome. Wonderful. So that, that that's that's what it's all about, Devon. You know, you know, education in action. Um, teachers, students, uh, doing something. You know, that outside the box thinking you were talking about. I, I think that's pretty. Yep, it's about engagement. All right, so where are we headed to uh, Mr. Bettina's class? Um, he's got some students where they've created uh, an aquaponics um, farm. And so we're going to take you over there and uh, we'll talk to some students. Talk. Excuse, excuse me, sir. Uh, what, what is aquaponics? And I don't want to take their thunder. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Okay, so we're going to learn about aquaponics. Um, so do you, do you have much... Um, community engagement, do you have people who come inside your building and, and, and assist with the learning? So just last week our academy coach, uh, Mr. Nolan, coordinated our academy support team, our first academy support team meeting, had over 24 business professionals come in from business, arts, marketing, engineering, transportation, um, and so uh, it's, I'd say it's ramping up. Um, are, you, are you excited about academies? What yeah, what, what are you what are you looking what are you looking forward to? What excites you about Academy? Just to bring in business professionals and have them be a part of what we do every day, so they can see breaking down these stereotypes. Um, and so I think we're here. I think we're here. Okay, so we're going to check out uh, we, we this classroom. We're going to go through this classroom and to the teachers' lab, and then we'll go out the teachers' lab. So we're gonna, all right, we'll follow you. All right. I believe we are here in the aquaponics class. Good morning. Good morning. How y'all doing? Earl Dotson Jr., Chief of Communications. Mr. Martina. Martina. So we do we do a little thing we call learning about you and where we we just like to show our community what actually really goes on inside our great schools, show people we have great teachers, great students, and really uh, education really happening and showing it live and direct. So what do we have here today? Uh, what we have is our uh, aquaponic uh, farm. Yeah. We have two tanks, two 55-gallon tanks with yellow perch in it. Uh, this yellow perch uh, provides waste products, commonly known as pee and poop, and it is pumped up to the grow bed um, on the top level, and it goes into 
an area that has um, what's called hydrocorn, which is uh, clay pebbles. And that water then is uh, attacked essentially by bacteria. The first bacteria converts the ammonia-based waste products to a nitrite. Uh, the second set of bacteria takes that nitrite and converts it to nitrogen, which then feeds the root systems of the plants. So currently we're growing tomatoes, and we have our second generation of lettuce coming in. And that's absolutely, that, that's fa fascinating. You know, when I, we were walking up, I, I asked Mr. LaRosa, you know, actually, what is aquaponics? And he said he did not want to steal you all's thunder. So uh, let, me ask, let me ask one of the students, so, what's your name? My name Alexa Alexandra Williams. Pleasure to meet you. So if you, someone asked you what the definition of aquaponics, uh, what, what would you say in, 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 in layman, simple terms? And, um, it's basically the best benefits of aquaculture and hydroponics. It takes the best things out of all of them. In aquaculture, you have to have millions of dollars worth of filter systems to clean the water so the fish can remain in there. In um, hydroponics, you have to keep changing the water. You have to add stuff to the water. And in aquaponics, it kind of takes the best things of both and they both sustain each other and the plants up here clean the water for the fish to live in and re um, put oxygen back in the water and then the waste from the fish turns and helps the plants grow. Smart, the smart young lady. That was awesome. So, where do you what do you think um, what do you think you can use this? What what, what, what do you think this is going to be useful uh, in in our future in society? What do you what do you think we can apply this? I mean, urban farming is great for Rockford. I mean, we have all these abandoned factories that we could, and I mean, it's it's kind of expensive to originally start it up, but once you get it started up, it's practically free. All you have to do is buy the fish and buy the seeds and it supports itself. It's a really cool system and I think it could go really far in Rockford, especially with all the factories that we have that are abandoned. Awesome. Thank you very much. How you doing, sir? What's your name? Jacob Davis. Jacob, Jacob, tell me a little bit about what, what do you like about this type of learning? What, what, what excites you about this? Um, generally the class, I was doing this the spring semester of last year and it was it was really hands-on like we didn't have to do a ton of book work and it was it was a lot better learning for me because I felt involved <clears throat> like I was better off learning in a way that I felt suited what we were doing like this is something that I can apply to my future I could go to college I could major in agriculture I could I could go far enough as to do this on my own at my house if I wanted to. It's <laughs> it's good. So what, what's uh, what's Auburn been like for? What, what grade are you in? I'm a senior right now. A senior right now. So how, how have you um have you you're almost done? Huh? You got plans to do some different things coming up? Uh, I'm thinking after here, I'm going to go up to Northern Illinois University. and that's Yeah, where. that's my alma mater, baby. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go hustle. Uh, <laughs> yeah, after that, um, not so sure on what I want my major to be entirely yet. You know, I don't know, but. What is, what's your, so the, the, so the teacher, you, you've, you've been in this, is this, how long have you been in this class? Um, I'm actually not currently in the class. I was in here last year, but I still get to come around and help and stuff because I kind of know what's going on. With That's awesome. So you think you think you could teach this one day, or we like to teach this? Um, this might potentially, yeah. I don't like it's interesting enough to where I know about it, so to where I could take more information on my own time in and be able to better teach it to other people who would like to learn about it. Um, my man, thank you very much. Pleasure to meet you, young man. How you doing? Are you not in this? Okay. Okay, he's observing. Well, pleasure to meet you anyway. Thank you all very much. We really, really appreciate it. You want to say something else? Go ahead. Go ahead. We like talking to our teachers. Yeah, all right. That's great. Um, what we're planning to do next year is uh, we're moving our systems indoors for the winter and through the winter and into the next summer. This uh, greenhouse is going to be expanded out about another eight feet and this will allow us to build larger aquaponics systems and be able to try new crops. Um, we'd like to get a license from the state to be able to raise tilapia besides the yellow perch and this is going to be part of our uh, one of our career paths at Auburn next oh, nice. year, nice. and so instead of just a one semester program, this will be developed out into a three year program at Auburn, and it will, you know, hopefully lead to, uh, well, like Alex said earlier, 
uh, hopefully new industry here in Rockford as far as aquaculture. Absolutely. I think this is very, very interesting and um, I, I love this this type of learning hands-on and the kids are excited, they're engaged and they, 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 uh, they, they understand what's happening here. How look, man? I'm good. Yeah, get, get the get the side uh, on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh, uh, all right, let's do this, baby. Ready? All right, we're back. I mean, thank you. Uh, I just want to say, I'm just saying, I'm, we're not done, but but thank you for uh, welcoming us and, and greeting us in that way. I really, really appreciate. It. That was really cool seeing that. And so here we are. Good morning, sir. How are you? And, how are you? and you are. Tremaine Morrow, athletic director. Athletic director, Rain. Good morning. How you doing, sir? So, you know, we were just kind of talking here a little bit about uh, now the football season is winding down and the basketball season coming up. The mighty, mighty Knights. What are you expecting this year? I'm expecting the Knights will upset a few people and we will finish. I'm predicting we're going to finish in the top two. In the top two. Oh, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, the games get exciting. Uh, I mean, the people bring it in. Uh, you, what do you think about your, your team this year? I expect the team is going to do well. I think we're um, we're poised and in a position to possibly win regionals I, i'm kind of predicting i know, you know that's i like that confidence you know what i'm saying i like that in you like, like okay the team is looking and, and the development and the, the maturity of some of our players from their sophomore year to junior year um, a lot of great things that um, coach Ott has done over the summer uh, with the guys so I'm, I'm expecting a lot of a lot of good things so so tying tying athletics to academics how how, how, how do the two combine how do they go i mean why, why is it important for kids to you know what, what is athletics do for for an education for a student well I tell every parent and every student athletics um, is second to academics um, we run IPRs or weekly eligibility um, we mandate tutoring for any student that may be struggling or think they may have issues um, and that's something we check on to make sure that they hear for that first um, a kid that pays attention in class and does the things they're supposed to do in class usually equates to being a better athlete on the field we try to equate the two together with being leadership and expectation so that's how we drive that that to, to make the kids do better and succeed. My man. All right, so you were showing something? We're going to hit? Well, yeah, right now we're, we're um, in the process of building a brand new field house. Um, that'll be a, um, a project that we're working on now, um, putting together for the 2015 uh, indoor track season. I'm trying to highlight Auburn and the facility um, and get teams from all over the state to come in um, okay. for track meets. All right, you know, for track meets. So did you ever run track? You were... Yeah, I was. Okay, hold on, hold on. Stop right here. You didn't. Okay, hold on. Vince, you know we always got to do something, man. You know we always got to do something. We got to do something for the people. All right, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really a track star. I know. That's what I'm saying, though. But let's see. We, we, what we're going to call this? The 40? All right. Well, Mr. LaRosa. And I'm going to run with my mic, too. I'm going to run with my mic. Since we're going to the field house, we're going to the field house. We're about to see. Do we, who, got, do we got insurance in case any one of us get hurt? <laughs> All right, that's far enough, man. We are going. All right, so, a little too far. I don't. I don't All right. All right. Say, uh, somebody say go. Go. Oh, I got dusted. I got dusted. <laughs> oh, wow. Did you guys see that? I mean, I just got smoked. Okay, okay, you want good. <laughs> you had to do it like that, man. I mean, my goodness. I mean, you tried hard. All right, so looks like we're headed to the. So, do, are we, do we go through the field out? Well, actually, we can look um, through one of the exits out this way. Hey, that was fun. All right, so, so it's a little bit. We good? Okay. All right. So, I don't know. So we we can just sit here by the door. Tell us a little bit about what's going on. Well, what what's going on is basically going to be a hundred. Oh, you back in, man. It's going to be a hundred thousand square feet um, facility that's going to house a two hundred meter indoor track, mondo track. Um, it'll be a two hundred meter indoor mondo track. Uh, which will be one of the only ones like this in this area. It'll house, a, I believe, eight classrooms, new locker rooms, and a uh, new study off uh, weight room. So it, it's going to be a huge, it's going to be a great addition. So are, are there any excitement amongst the kids yet? I mean, kids, is it, has, it, is it, has it sunk in yet, kind of what's happening for the kids? It, for the student. it very much is. Um, in fact, the numbers for track are starting to expand and get a lot bigger because now they're going to be an indoor season and an outdoor season. So, I mean, the kids are great. They're excited. They're actually, the upperclassmen are upset that they won't see it. 
Wow. So, what do you have? Do you, what is, is it going to be? So, so you said for track. Is there other uses you plan? You all plan on using the building for? Yes. The building is actually going to help us expand with the PE department. Um, we're going to again. Um, it's going to have four courts, 200 meter track, which is going to give us four to five more stations because right now we're dealing with a little bit of crowding, overcrowding with the PE classes with limited spacing. It's going to help alleviate all of that situation and stress. Well, hey man, if we, if we get to the court, you know what I'm saying? I, I got. You, know, so you might be manu, but I, you know what I'm saying? I will shoot this jumper on you. <laughs> thank you very much, sir. I appreciate thank it. Thank you. Not a problem. All right, right. We appreciate it. All right. Thank yeah, you. We'll All right. Uh, we'll come back this way, and uh, we'll add, just do a little debrief in my office. Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. Our expansion will be redeveloping the library. Uh, jealous of Jefferson, but ours is going to be a little better. <laughs> just going to let Mr. Rundle know that now. But um, you know. Lots of development going on um, to, to bring the schools up to speed and getting us, uh, we're going to have eight additional classrooms in the field house. Um, did you talk about some of the, the spin room and the weight room development? We're going to have additional space in the field house as well. So when, is, when, is, when do you anticipate all of this kind of kind of coming into fruition? We're just sticking with school year, next school year, where it's all going to be done. That's what we're sticking with. The facility should be done would be um, August of 14. That's when I was told that the, the facility will be done. If you guys notice, I'm smiling, man, because I'm I'm really, really, uh, I'm impressed uh, with with what's what what I've seen and what's happening here. Um, I, again, Auburn being one of our uh, historic great high schools, it's just wonderful to see uh, administrators, students, teachers engaged with what's going on. So we're gonna do a little breeze. We headed back into the office here, and uh, I appreciate it, sir. Take care. All right. You know. Hi, may, may we say hello to you? You know, <laughs> okay, if you really say please, but you're, I just, um, I just like talking to people who I really think are, are important. How are you today? I'm wonderful, thank you. And what's your name? Debbie Teeters. Debbie, so what's your role here? What do you do? I am the receptionist. I uh, meet and greet people. I tell them where they need to go. I steer them in the right direction. What do you like about what you do? There's never a dull moment. <laughs> There's never a dull moment. Well, I, you know, have, being here in the district, I know how important you are to the success of what we do. So thank you for what you do. Thank you. All right. Have a great day. All right. Hi, good morning. How are you? Mrs. Hale, Earl Dotson, Jr. Hi, how are you? So um, you, have you... You like doing what you do. You like how, how's it? How is it working for Mr. Uh, it's, Rose? Really, it's really good. He's excited. He has new ideas, and and it's uh, that's great to see. What's the environment like here at Auburn? Um, it's it's doing really well. The the cra uh, the halls aren't as um, as busy off hours, <laughs> and um, they're a lot clearer than they were. And I think there's a lot of excitement with the prob um, with the um, indoor track uh, arena being built and you know expanding our library and our cafeteria and so there's a lot of new things coming so we're excited about that thank you for your time have a wonderful day all right see we got great people i mean you know this is what i'm talking about this is you know great people who are in the district who work who's every day that, that most most people uh, we sometimes don't realize uh, uh, how, how many how many of the people who, who make this work here in our system so we are in uh, the principal's office so let, let's um let's let's just talk a little bit about um, what we saw and, and kind of you know what what, what happened there uh, in, in terms of the, the engagement with the students the teachers What's your thoughts on that, sir? Teachers have been working real hard with the professional learning communities and um, partnering together. So no longer staying in an island, I stay in my classroom and do my thing, but rather let's talk together, let's plan together. Um, so we, we have highly productive professional learning communities where teachers are sharing and, um, and we're creating data and we're looking at it. How do we plan, do, act and get better at what we do and also share what we're doing. If we're doing something great, let's share it. And if somebody else is doing something great, let's take that idea, let's try it, test it, see what's working, what's not working. If you had, if you had a message or something that you would want to convey to you know, the people who, who will see this, uh, you know, what, what's, what's something that you want to make sure that they, that they took away from our visit here? 
So for parents, community members, central office, uh, other schools, just continue supporting us. We really appreciate it. Um, the community's been amazing for Auburn, and we want to just keep that momentum and know we're not going to let you down. Sports, academics, we're going to keep trying, and we're going to keep working hard. And so just keep, keep believing in us, I guess is what I'm saying. That's awesome. And you know what? I think that's a great note to end on. And I want to really thank you, sir. I really, really appreciate it. I wish you nothing but the best. And you always know anything you ever need from me or any any, any of my, my staff or any, anyone I can help anywhere, please let me know. Set the camera and the mic so we're good. All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you.